God. Shalom wall. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, glory to the Lord. The apostles, elders, the great millstone, and salutation of brothers pushing this word in truth and sincerity with charity and risking their lives and freedom to do so. This is brothers from GMS Chicago. And the only ones that edify less of them hop into it. Y'all got precept? I got one. <laughs> In Proverbs 1 and 20, it says, Wisdom crieth with thou. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried to the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. And in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge? All right, and so wisdom is being poured out where? In the streets. And they say anywhere about these synagogues and Satan, these churches, all right, and all these temples made by man's hand. Oh, fuck. All right, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. All right, so hey, the true prophets won't be out there in, in, in these churches filling up on your wife, your, you know, uh, <laughs> trying to commit adultery. Hey, the true men of the Lord be out here on the highways and byways, man, fishing. This is uh, back in uh, verse 22, it says, How long ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. And hey, and these people out here, hey, my people are foolish. Why? Because they lack knowledge. If you jump back to verse 7, is this is why. It says, Proverbs 1 and 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And, that's, and our people are foolish. Why? Because they lack fear. And there's no fear of the Lord in this place. All right? Hey, 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 you got, hey, the place is upside down. It's backwards. You got our people leaning and following other gods, man. Leaning to their own understanding. Hey, following the ways of the wicked. All right? Hey, 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 all hey, hey, drunken. And hey, that's why scripture says that they're drunk, but not by strong drink. They stagger. You know, but 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 they are uh, they're drunken by the fucking the the uh the bull the BS philosophy that's a, that this man puts out, the self-proclaimed white man who is Esau Edom according to the scriptures. Alright, cause this man puts out madness, man. Everything that this man promotes is against the Lord. It's contrary to the scriptures. And yeah, that's why the scriptures say that they uh to how woe into them that uh, make darkness light and light for light for darkness, man. Yeah, See, bro. these people turn everything that the Lord have put and gave us and, and, and use it for evil. And that's all because of what Esau, man. Esau gave them the liberty to do these well. Uh, I want to say Esau, but these niggas actually want to do these things, man. Because they tell you in the book of Jeremiah, they said, well, my, my people found what? Wicked men. These people love to do it. That's why you go into Proverbs, they say they, they create things as a sport. Wickedness as a sport, so it's fun to them, man. It is fun to them. But of course it's a rock to tell you that so are the rulers, so are the people. So that's how you know our people is following wickedness because who is ruling the society? Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked and uh, uh, he covered the judges, the face of the earth, man. So that's why our people are so wicked, man. They fell in love with this wicked society, man. Yeah. I got that Isaiah. Probably so. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Uh -huh. And here they'll, they'll walk past man of the Lord and they'll put this for darkness. They'll put this for evil. They'll, you know why? Because they say, oh, you're talking against this. You're talking against the MOTB. You uh, You know why? Because these people show you to fear everything else besides the Lord. Uh, or, or like they put a man having another woman, it's, um, it's wickedness. Like some dude, he put on, the, on this comment and the dude cut him. Some dude, some regular dude who just know the scriptures a little bit. And uh, some physical white is going to put on. Uh, we supposed to be in monogamous and marriages. Thou should not commit adultery. But the dude with the dress, um, the, the Judite, he was like, the scripture says uh, that if you commit adultery with another man's wife, that's adultery. He said, no, 
He said, so did uh, Solomon commit adultery with his wife? Did, oh, you just know, did Abraham commit adultery? That's why he was saying that. He said, no. He said, at least uh, if you're going to talk about the Bible, at least know it. You know? And that's the yeah. problem. A lot of these people don't even know the Bible and just be talking. Don't know shit. The scripture right. never said that. We ought to be fruitful and multiply. It goes back to that, that Isaiah 29. I believe it's 29, 13, where it says uh, that their love for him is taught by the precepts of men. Yeah. And a lot of these people have this, this so-called, oh, I believe in God, I fear God, and all this. But none of their ways uh, uh, go back to the scriptures. It's all what, what, it's all what they think is right, what they feel, you know? It's I never got, about what actually the Lord deems right and, and honest and true, you know? Yeah. No, I got that Isaiah. This is Isaiah 29 and uh, 13. It said, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as the people drew near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me and their fear towards me and taught by the precept of men. Right. And, and that's that's this whole like you, you be having especially now in uh in social media you say you see a picture of a so-called uh you know uh, uh jesus christ oh share this and you'll get and you'll get a blessing do this and you'll do this like that that's folly man that none of that is in the scriptures the scriptures tell you that if you really love the lord you're gonna what keep his commandments yeah. you're not gonna lean onto your own understanding you're not gonna do anything extra if, if these thoughts come to your mind you're gonna filter them through the scriptures that's how you know when you really love the Lord or not, man. That's why us that are in the truth could call out people that, 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 that are full of shit when they say that. I got that precept. You know? It's John 15 and 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. But you got to keep the commandments of the Lord to, to say you love him. Well, John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's just what it is. So a lot of you people say you love the Lord, but you don't. You don't study. Well, the scriptures in uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15 it says, Study to show thyself approved that a workman may not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. How are you going to rightly divide the word of truth if you're not studying for that? You know? You got to really study and put your mind around it. It's first John 5 and 3 says, For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous, and, which is grievous unto these people. All right? Because they say they love the Most High, but they don't even know what love is. They don't know, hey, these people are lost out here. Right. They, they look at it as grievous, but everything that the Lord tells us to do is for our own benefit. Right. Like the dietary law? Hey, you got, you told Jake, stop eating pork. Hey, stop eating crab legs, stop eating oysters, stop eating mussels, all these abominable food, stop eating duck, stop eating fucking cat. Hey, but Jake, eat it all up. Oh, well, it tastes good. I'm going to eat it. I said, would you eat a, would you eat a cockroach? I told this one nigga, I said, would you eat a cockroach? Nah. I said, then why you eating shrimp? He said, but if it tastes like shrimp, then I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Jake, it just, hey, it, it, it's great. Hey, and once you... That's why the wicked flee with no man pursuing because when you bring out these scriptures, they gone, man. They be they they leave, man. They, they buck up against the Lord. Cause at the end of the day, they say they, they don't love the Lord, man. No, no they don't, man. Because they, the put the put in the pudding, man. If they really, really love the Lord, hey, they would have keep this scripture, man. And it's Matan's favorite scripture. Joshua 1 and 8. They say, the book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth. But that shall meditate that end day and night, that they might observe to do according to that that is written therein. And what's written in? The law, statutes, and commandments, man. The Lord told us that the law wasn't do, done away with, man. It said wherever we go, the uh, we shall keep them, man. That's right. So wherever we was at, no matter if we was in South Korea or, or Russia or Germany, we still supposed to keep these laws if you're an Israelite. It said, for then it shall make that way to prosper. And that should have good success. And that's how we have good success. By keeping the laws, man. Hey, the law brings for life. And you know what? People always say they want to be successful in the world. 
but this is the best successful you can get. Ain't no more successful than these scriptures. Like, you know, this woman I was on talking to, I knew she wasn't gonna last. She kept talking about how she wanna make it in this world. How she wanna be successful in this world. I don't wanna have a thing. I was telling her, man, we gonna get all that in the kingdom. We gonna have everything. She, she uh, here for a second, ended up blocking me because she know deep in the heart, she don't, she know if she keep following this, she ain't gonna have the things of this world. Hey, you know That's why? what she wants. She wants this world to be successful in this bullshit. That's right. And not get successful in the kingdom. So now she gonna be in that shame. When I get that status, then she gonna be wishing, <laughs> oh damn, I should've stayed with him. I would've yeah, had some type of status. But now you got no status. You gonna be a low down, dirty ass, Israelite that's gonna be on the bottom for us for a period of time until the Lord take you out of that shame. And that's just what it is. I got a quick one. It's John 7 38 says, He that believed on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And what does scripture say? It says, Hey, we have no continuous city here, but we seek one to come. Alright, hey. True riches is what the flesh can't touch. Alright, I can prove that in Proverbs 8 and 10. It says, receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. And you tell these people trying to hey, seek ye the kingdom of heaven, and all these things be added unto you. And that's all, hey, that's all the Lord wants you to do. Hey, put a hey, neglect everything else, put a hey, lose your life to save it, really. But on these these people can't see it. They rather save their life on this side and end up losing. It. That's because yeah. the scripture tell you when there's no open vision, the people what perish. Yeah. These people can't see the vision of Yahweh Bashemah Shai. They can't see the kingdom. We can. We can see the the Lord returning. We can see the chariots. We know that the Lord is going to destroy this place. We can see the uh, icy and being missile hitting this place. They can't see that. All they can see is that. They lost in this Babylon juice that Esau have gave them, man. This supposed to be life that, that Esau had created for them, which is not even life. It's bullshit, man. It's, it's a system that trap you and have you put on the bottom, man. And that's why I'm gonna bring out this. Can you got something, brother? I got one for you. My book is you got it. Uh, it's Proverbs 12. Oh, it's like 14 and 12. Uh -huh. It says, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Like the brother was saying, man, these people, hey, they show you the opposite, man. They don't, they don't show you the way of life. They show you the way of death. Because the scripture says what? Lead, lead not to your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. He should direct thy paths. Yeah. But they don't teach you that. They teach you lead on, uh, lead on to your own understanding. Follow, they do as thou, as thou wilt. Right, do what makes you feel good. Exactly. Right. Because Esau gave y'all a license to sin. When y'all made that covenant in Maccabees with him, with that first um uh, first round uh, Maccabees, the first chapter. Yep. When they uh, when them uh, wicked men made that covenant with the wicked, man, with the heathens. That them wicked ass Israelites. You the same people, man. You know, y'all made that covenant with them. Whether you ain't in the industry or not, you still making the covenant with them. How? Because you still believe in his laws. You still follow his ways. Ain't not, of course, you got to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. You got to understand it. But that don't stop you from keeping the law, statute, and commandments of the Lord to the best of your ability. Y'all make that as an excuse. Oh, we got to keep the laws of this land. That's not even talking about that. Y'all don't even know what they're talking about. You know, y'all use that scripture. That got nothing to do with America. Where's that at? Where, how do that fit America? It don't fit it at all. That's talking about keeping this. These. This is the laws of this land, of the scriptures, the law, statute, and commandments that the Lord uh, gave to us, man. You know? But y'all completely defile this and get rid of it. Y'all throw it in the back. And, and that's the same. And, we, and yes, we bring y'all the same book that you um on your desk, that that book collecting dust every day. Same book, man, that y'all don't pick up the read. So it's the same book that your so-called president that y'all sway in every year. Well, every, what, couple years that he and his inauguration that he read from man the same book the uh the king james 1611 edition man <laughs> which that go back and prove that if the letter j is not in there which all y'all so-called <laughs> jesus juice christians man hey y'all don't read this you know why because hey y'all full of shit. but this isaiah 
the first chapter, man. And I'm gonna start at uh, uh, three. It say the ox knows his owner and the ass uh, his master crib. But Israel, Israel do not know my people do not consider. And our people don't consider, man. They don't even consider that they are the chosen uh, people on the, upon, on the, upon the face of the earth, man. The Lord have gave us the much glory and honor and the praise and you just throw it and spit it right back in his face. It say, and sinful nation, a people led with iniquity, a sea of evil doers, children that are corruptive, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger, they are going away backwards, man. And like the brother uh, Matai was just saying, man, hey, y'all, it do everything contrary against the Most High. Y'all don't want to consider the Most High, man. When the Most High gave you everything, man, the reason why you have a job, the reason you have clothes, it's because of the Lord, man. The Lord have gave you those things. But our people get it in their mind, and they so prideful, they feel like they did it on themselves. Because guess what? That's the M.O. of Esau, man. Esau felt like he created himself. Esau felt like he's better than the Most High. But the Lord is going to show him who's better, man. Verse 5. It say, why would you be stricken even more? Yet we'll revoke more and more the whole head and sick, the whole heart is faint, man. And no matter how much we tell you stupid ass niggas, man, you just not gonna get it, man. You're not gonna get it until you know what? By death, by pain, man. Uh-huh. And then, and then it's gonna be so much death that's about to come to you people. It says it's gonna reach up to the horses right. That's how much death is about to be here in America. Y'all think it's a game. Like, y'all can't even see that this kingdom is falling. You see it. Look, man, this ha this is happening. This is a prophecy that is happening before the face of y'all eyes right now. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set Egyptian against the Egyptian. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. That's happening. That's happening. I ain't, that's a prophecy happening now. It ain't happening in the future no more. It ain't happening in the um, in the past. It's happening now. The Lord making it happen now. So that that prophecy is coming to pass. We we don't, we don't have to say it in the future no more. But we seeing it. We seeing it in the face of our eyes. What shit is happening, man? And the Lord is bringing it down. And he about to put the helm on you niggas, man. Yeah, this is Jeremiah chapter four, verse twenty-two. Says, for my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are silent children, they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. As scripture says, they, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. And you know, Esau set up to be the wicked man, but the, our people overpass the deeds of the wicked man. You know, Esau, uh, 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 a homosexual man, but you see Jacob. Black boy in this fuck with a grown, with a grown ass bitch with fucking knees, high heels, pink dress, walking down the fucking hood, man. You know, Jake can do the most. You know, and and, and, and here you got Esau, you strain your mind, go against the Lord, and you do the most out of that too. Because you mock, you hey, hate, because at the end of the day, you don't mock us. You, hey, you don't hate us. Because Scripture says, He that receiving you, receiving him, receiving me. He receiving me, receiving him that sent me. Exactly. At the end of the day, you have a problem with the Lord. You hate the Lord. And we hate you too. Hey, the, the feeling is mutual, niggas. Because hey, the, hey, the unjust is abomination to the just. And the just is abomination to the unjust. As much as y'all hate us, hey, we hate y'all niggas more. Exactly. Don't we hate thee? That, don't we hate them that hate thee, O oh Lord? Uh, hey, like like uh, you were saying, like, so like, it, like you were saying, um, Jake be doing, uh, doing extra like that, um, that some years back, it was that vice lord dude. He was cold killer, killing niggas, working niggas. Then he became a homosexual with a vile affection, sucking ride, and they're like, and then they be like, well, how they, how they let you walk around fool like this? And, and you do it, he like, well, think about all the gangsters you around. They, they know what I'm doing. They knew I was a killer, and they know what I am now. So you guess what you think about happening? They getting their ride blown by that man. That, 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 that just shows you how wicked Jake is, man. That's okay. Yeah. Hey, this uh John 7 and 7. They say the world cannot hate you, but me it hated. Because I testif testify of it that the worst there are evil, man. So 
just like the brother said, man, hey, you don't hate us. You got a, a, a personal vendetta against the Lord. Hey, this word, all we doing is just speaking the words of the Lord, man. We come out here week in, week out, like the brother just said, man, going to the highways and byways, man, going to the streets to declare this truth to you, man, to tell you that you are the Lord told the people, to tell you that it's a way out this hell hole, tell you that evil is coming. Hey, let's get Jeremiah 28 and 8, man, because, hey, the wow. prophets are old, prophesy about things that surely shall come, man, but you don't want to hear it. You know what you want to do? You want to continue in your folly. You think America's going to go on forever, man. And with that mindset, you're going to surely be disappointed, man. That's right. A rude awakening. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old have prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what the prophets are all prophesying about, man. We talked about uh, how kingdoms shall come uh, be destroyed, man. How the Lord set up one kingdom and set up another one, man. Bringing one up and bringing one down, man. We talk about how evil is coming, man. See, people don't even understand bad times are coming, man. Hey, famine is on a, on a breaking. Hey, the dollar is through. The society is crumbling. People are losing their mind. Unemployment is through. Hey, more and more crime is going to go through the roof, man. They said since this pandemic, crime went up 30%, man. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. why? Because with more crime, meaning what? More chaos. And with more chaos, meaning what? More destruction, man. That's right. And that's what's coming, man. Because people don't realize that this is not a game. Like you've been living your life for so long and you've been getting away from so much shit and you think that you, you don't have to account for it. No, we have new flags for you, man. You have to account for everything you have done against the Heavenly Father, man. And soon you're going to see why you should have chose the Lord instead of choosing what you want, man. Exactly. I got a precept for that. Bible was shot. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And it's setting them to do evil, man. So since, like the brother started with fear, hey, so since fear don't go out, man, hey, they want to promote wickedness. They do it to the extent. But back in the ancient days, hey, let you try to do some of that bullshit, man. You would get killed on the spot. You will get judgment on the spot. And I answer that, and be honestly, and you will get pushed to shame in front of the whole congregation. That's right. You know why? Because when you transgress, and especially a heavy uh, offense, man, we put you in shame in front of the whole congregation so the whole congregation knew not to fucking do it, man. We made an example. And that's what fear is, man. That's why the scripture tell you, uh, um, uh, um, damn, it's an Exodus. Real quick, Salak here, brother. Mm -hmm. Let me get it real hey, that's quick. What, that's what in the gospel it says that what? Then that sin rebuke before all. Yeah. So that others so that others may fear, man. Damn, it's as it is. Here it go right here. It's as it is 23, verse 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude do, e do evil, neither shall I speak in a call to declare any man wrestle a uh, judgment, man. Because hey, you can't you can't live your life doing malice doing wickedness man hey we here to put that wickedness away so righteousness can finally uh, uh spring man that's why the lord is finna take esau out man we can't build on top of shit man ain't no such thing we have to reform and rebuild and, and, and cleanse that's why the lord is about to use fire last time it was water that's right bible you go back to this right. uh kind this uh ecclesiastes 8 and 12 it says though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged yet surely i know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high the which, one. which fear before him that fear before him man so the ones that got a, a godly fear the ones that keep his commandments the ones that that's getting in line man because I, I i'm not gonna sit up here and tell you that i do everything perfectly no but guess what? I'm striving to be perfect. I'm striving to be complete. 
Because when you go into that word, it means to be whole, man, to be completed, man. So we strive to do that, man. We are, you are looking at perfect mass because we trying to get it right. That's right. But guess what? People don't want to get it right. People want to just continue on what they want to do, man. And doing that, we will see. Hey, if I may say this, because getting right, in order for you to get right, we, you have to hold yourself accountable for the bullshit that you be doing. Integrity, yeah. And a lot of people don't have that, that, that characteristic. They don't want it because they want to keep on doing bullshit without nobody telling them anything. Exactly. You know, when you when you when you start cutting these people with the scriptures, they get mad and grin and like I'm like, what's stepping? You cut them so bad, man. Those people were so mad they they start stoning them. See, all the apostles. Yeah, all, all the right. apostles. But you know, but he that that's the part of the stamp. He was actually like, yeah. he cut them to the heart, yeah. like. They was like they this. was raised. Man. <laughs> that was in raised teeth about to break. They, they got them gnashing them, them so hard together, like they was like they was that mad. Man. But that's how that's how you know Stephen came in the spirit of, of Yahweh Shai, because when Yahweh Shai on the, on the scene, what did the Lord came back to do? He came back to save more than to destroy. All he did was just coming out what heal the sick, hey, uh, 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 cleanse uh, the leper. Yeah, cleanse the lepers, man, and, 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 and so that people can actually uh, uh, get healed from all the things that they have done, man. But guess what? The people did the same thing that they did to Stephen to Yahweh Shai. They they uh, crucified the Lord, hey, and they couldn't have no fault with that man with, with Yahweh Shai, man. Same thing with Stephen. Stephen is just out here teaching the truth right now, and niggas come up here all the time talking shit, wanna uh, stone us, man. Talk shit, wanna throw shit at us, man. But guess what? We count all that worthy to serve you. How about Shai, man? Right, time back. And that's who, claim. Who, who, are you, who are you guys to uh to know. judge to judge us? You know, like like the brother was going into. Okay. The simple fact that, that we're striving to get right and you're not gives us every right to be able to judge you. Yeah. You know, because we're not being hypocrites. We're, we're whatever we judge you on, hey, we we try our best not to be doing the same thing. And if we're not, then we have every right to tell you not to do, to tell you that you're going off, to tell you that if you continue in the same walk, that you're going to get destroyed. And you know? as love, man. The scripture tell you what, love your enemy, man. Hey, right now, two thirds of our people are enemies, That's man. Right. They are enemy towards the Lord. Remember, you are first an enemy towards the Lord, then an enemy towards us, man. All we doing is just telling you to get right. So for you to hate us or get mad, you, and, and hate the Lord, hey, hey, good riddance, man. Because we don't care no more. At the end of the day, we doing our job, man. Just like Ezekiel would say, that blood is what? Washed upon off our hands. Now it's returning to you. Right. Now the, the, the ball part is in your hands, man. Let's see what you do. Todd, I got a quick one. This is John 10. I'm gonna start at uh, 30, 31. And it says, then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Yahweh Shai answered him, uh, Many good works have I showed you from my father, but which those work do ye stone me? They're trying to stone him. Like, could he doing showing them the work of the Heavenly Father? They was mad because he's doing the work. How you mad because he's doing the work? Like, that's the problem <laughs> with you people. You get mad because we actually doing the work. Yeah. Hey, um, hey to back you up, that remind me of uh, Peter. When in Acts, man, I believe like the sixth, seventh chapter. On a, no, matter of fact, it's a little, it's a roundup. But when Peter and, and the apostle was out there teaching the name of the Lord, they locked Peter up. They said, "Man, we'll let you out if you don't talk or uh, if you were not uh, t teaching His name, man." Right. That's what they said. If, if you don't teach in his name, you shall go free. But if you do, we shall lock you up. And they locked them up, man. An uh, angel had to come save him. That's how we know the Lord is dealing with us, man. Because guess what? The Lord is always with us. They say when two are gathered in my name, two or three are gathered in my name, the Lord is in the midst, man. So the Lord is with us everywhere, man. We got to like, uh, Verse 33. The Jews answered him, saying, for a good work, we stone thee not, but for blessing me and because thou because that thou being a man make of thyself a god of god you have a shot uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. you have a shot answer them 
is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods, but they like me, he make of himself a god. He like, man, I ain't make myself a god. The most I said I'm a god. That's right. That's the point. And they was ready to kill him. Ready to put him to death. Hey, look. Hey, people get mad. People get mad when I say I'm a Lord, God, King, Priest. They be like, what? You ain't no Lord. You ain't shit. You a nigga. You ain't no God. Talk to shit. But, the, but, but that's what the scripture said. And I'm going to come finish it. If he, if he called himself, called them gods, and to the word of the most high power of God coming, and the scripture cannot be broken. And a lot of you people break the law, statute, and commandments. So that's why you can't be a God. That's why you people are mad, because y'all don't know how to be a God. You know? And this brother had a page how to be a God. You still got that page? That's good. They ain't uh, take it. That's on the fourth one. Oh, it's on the fourth one. I got a precept <laughs> for you. Proving that, man. Because we can get Psalms 80, what, 82 and 6, six yeah. which always prove that. But it's a, it's a precept to it. It's Revelation 1 and verse 6. It said, I have made, you, made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So that's the precept. That, that proved right there that the Lord had made us God, kings, and priests. Now what you have to say? Jake always talk shit out of that fucking ass and have nothing to back up about it, man. Right. All you have to do is just read the fucking scriptures. But they not talk like that. You know how they talk? They talk with emotions, man. Most people or come up or scoffing on the comic board talk out of their, their feelings. They talk like women. Women is talk out of their feelings. You got it, bro. Got a quick one. This is Baruch. 2 and 34, and I will bring them again unto the land which I promised with the oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of them. So, that, so that's why I say I'm a Lord God King priest. Because we're going to be lords of them, man. And I will increase them, and they should not be diminished. So, hey, the Lord ain't going to diminish us, man. So we are going to be them Lord God King and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their most high power God, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land I have gave them. So yes, the Lord gonna make us Lord God King priests. Now what? That's why we teaching the truth. If you don't wanna be that, go ahead, that's fine. You're gonna be a two third, you're gonna be in your shame, for, for however long the Lord wants you to be in it, because he, he never tell you the, uh, how long. He just said the uh, everlasting content. That everlasting don't mean forever. It could mean the, the Lord time is, we ain't on the Lord time. You know, his thoughts are not our thoughts. He got his own protector with time, because a thousand years to the Lord, um, a thousand years to us is one day to the Lord. And one day to the Lord is a thousand years. So, hey, man, so... Now, whoever who know how long that shame gonna be that but i don't want to be a part of it so hey right. shit, that's on you niggas but hey guess what we out here gonna teach you the word we gonna tell you the destruction is coming we gonna tell you that motv is coming which a lot of you niggas gonna accept i heard a person uh, a woman out there was uh telling the truth truth to she said she gonna take it she said why not if that's the new way of currency and that's how uh, new information then I'm gonna take it. Well, that's how you know women is foolish, man. Hey, they are they they are programmed to to act off their feelings, and they don't think logic, man. Yeah, they depart from wisdom. They, they depart from wisdom. Even even Joel's wife, they showed you how how stupid was her. Right, right. Come, on. hey, even Joel woman uh, um was foolish, man. Hey, and Job had to cut him, and that's how you know a real man. A real man stand up to his, his to his woman, regardless of what circumstances, man. And he told her, he said, man, you sound like one of the foolish women. We don't see good or bad from the most high. Hey, the Lord giving the Lord, take it away. It's the Lord's show, man. Remember, you in the hands of the Lord. But women feel like, oh, okay, well, what I'm going to do? My, my, my kids ain't eight or I ain't eight. Now, instead of them leaning on to the Lord, which they're supposed to do, they lean on back into Esau, man. That's why the scripture tell you, warn to them that to go down to Egypt for help, man. Hey, it's gonna be destruction for you. Taking this MOTB, this mark of the beast, you're gonna get destroyed, man. 
literally destroyed, man. The Lord have a, a, a eternity fire for you, man. And you're going to wish you never took it in your life. The scripture talks about they're going to solder their children. They're going to boil their children. They're going to eat the same woman talking all that shit. Saying about they're going to take the MOTV. It's going to be the same ones that are their children. Well, man. that's the prelude, though. Because a right. lot of people, uh, uh, <laughs> of course, that, that uh, MOTV is, is the next thing. But guess what? Hey, famine is coming. These people don't even know famine is coming. Hey, that gotta happen. Remember, the Lord said these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Yep. So that's just the prelude to what's gonna happen, man. That's the, the warm up. So when that MOTB really happened, man, which it, it's gonna happen on a small scale, man. Remember, Esau, his, his plan is not gonna prevail. Remember, his plan is gonna get intercepted by Yahweh Shai. The Lord is not gonna let us suffer going through this time, man. Remember, the Lord got us. That's right. The, the scriptures tell you that. So, knowing that mindset, knowing that these times are coming, hey, you need yeah. to get you a man of the Lord. Why are you talking about an MOBTV? A, 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 a microchip. Just the, the half for a moment that's going to get you destroyed. You said you got a piece of the work. Time. She wants you time. Go get her. Hey, because a lot of y'all, man, <laughs> hey, like the brother said, a lot of y'all just don't see it. But a lot of y'all really do see it. And a lot of y'all be like, well, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to live it up. At, at least I hope, I hope it happens when I'm drunk. I hope it happens when I'm high. I hope it happens, you know. Hey, but you don't know what the Lord has in store for you, man. All right? He Just says it's going to come upon you when you least expect it. When you read Sirach, the fifth chapter, it tells you what? That in thy security, when you think you're at the... It's a, yeah. Yeah, when you're most protected, when yeah. th things are at least going to happen, that's when the Lord is going to come. And that's what people are now, though. People are already going through bullshit, man. The guy, our life is already shamed. That's why when this pan the pandemic started, man, hey, a, a lot of suicide rates went through the roof. People lost their fucking mind. So imagine when society really, really crumbled all the way down, man, Shit. which is already here. You already see that they already uh, uh, have these potions telling me if you, you want to work or this and that, you have to take it. Which is all according to the plan. Remember, Esau yep. had these people going confused about certain things so that what? He can promote chaos, man. Protests can happen. Lawsuits is happening. Babylon is falling. They say, with well, a house uh, divided, it cannot what? Stand. This house not standing long, man. We don't have long. If you really believe that America is going to go on forever, you got to be out your fucking mind, man. How? 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 It's been the worst time in history. We breaking records, man. And you telling me America's gonna keep going on forever? America is through, man. That's right. I mean, look, I mean, look at the money. Look at look at the economic system, man. Look at what's going on. Look how everything is starting to go digital already. The dollar about to crash. You people can't even see that. Yo, you got everybody uh fronting with this uh, fucking fiat money, man. That ain't about to last at all, man. You people are really brainwashed to this world, man. Y'all really don't understand what you what's going on. Like y'all minds is really so warped up in this world, so wrapped around. It's like, man, the Lord about to put the chokehold on you, niggas. Y'all about to be really feeling. Cause and when that dollar crash is over with, a lot of you people gonna be sick. Cause you're gonna be having all this paper dollar y'all gonna just be throwing it in the streets and wiping your ass with. Right, I got a precept for you. Are right, you sure you got something, brother? Go ahead. It's Matthew 24, and I'm starting at uh, 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, All right? So right now, you got a lot of people who are, uh, like the brother said, they're, they're wrapped up into this world right now in uh, their daily lives, everyday daily lives. You know, everybody's planning on, really the main thing they're planning on is for this pandemic to be over. They actually have plans for this to be over with, okay? <laughs> 
Right. They have a, a, a you know, a, a jab, non-jab, basically, you know what I'm saying, uh, I guess you could say like a, like a versus right now. You know, you got people who have the juice and people who don't have the juice. And they are, and people are looking at each other uh, crazy right now. Co-workers, you know, you got these all these nurses now in, in New York, they saying that if they don't report with the juice, then guess what? They gonna lose their jobs, man. And you got a lot of people in the comment section saying, well, they, they don't deserve their health workers uh, and all this and that, and they deserve to lose their jobs and all this. So you got the, 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 the non-juicers versus the juicers. You know what I mean? Like everybody's thinking that this place is gonna go back the way it used to be. Right. All right, they, they wanna get comfortable again. You know what I mean? But the, the Lord's knocking them out of their comfort zone right now. You know what I'm saying? People are saying that they want to get back thinking about the normal. They can't move the way they want to move. They got to wear a mask. You know what I'm saying? They can't enter into certain restaurants right now because they have to wear a mask or they have to have that juice. You know what I mean? So right now, people are marrying, giving in marriage. I know uh, a couple people are getting married this year. You know what I mean? Oh, man, been, yeah, I, been, I know yeah, a few of them that got married during the pandemic. Yeah, see, yeah. see? They, 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 they still giving in marriage. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They still having sex. Building, building families. Wait, hold on, brother. Sex. No, I'm saying like, no, I'm just yeah. saying, that's the having sex building families, though. Like, 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 like saying like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna have, we're gonna build this family. I'm gonna have, how many kids you want, baby? I want, I want three. Right. Well, I want four. You know what I mean? Like all this shit. Like, <laughs> shit. yeah. By the time they're 20, you know, type of shit. You know what I mean? Uh, I think uh, America go go on. Yeah. They plan, they yeah, plan we, the futures. Yeah, we got Bitcoin and all this, and whatever the dog, whatever <laughs> other one is. You know, oh, everybody's right. investing. The guy at my job, he works, I work 12 hour shifts, crazy. This man works 40 some days straight, crazy. He's, he's dedicated, he has a record. I think he, had, he, he worked like, like 60 days straight. You know what yeah. I mean? And the other guy, he had like 40 some, and, and, and they're investing their money into this, uh, whatever whatever the new hot shit is. Yeah, stock market or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got, he's putting stocks in, he's saying and by the time I'm, I'm 40 something, I should be good, I have a boat and all this shit. You know what I mean, like they're really, they're really even in the pandemic with all this crazy shit going on. They're really still get trying to get themselves back into that comfort of uh, 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 saying, like, listen, like this is normal. Like everything get back to normal. It's just a pandemic. It's just a virus. Things will go back to normal eventually. That's what's happening now. But the Lord's gonna sneak upon them like a thief in the night. How is how is the Lord gonna sneak upon you like a thief in the night? The scriptures tell you to be occupied in prophecy. The Bible also says that the, that Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Those who are occupied in prophecy are looking for the prophets. But those who are not, the prophecies are going to sneak upon them. Next thing you know, oh, you forced to take a damn chip in the arm. Good. Why? Well, we know why, but you don't know why because you're not looking. A person that's not looking, a, a person that's not looking to protect something that they have can easily be finessed. Yahweh Shai said it. It said, if, if uh, I will watch for my house to see when, my, when a thief shall come, I will know what time he will come. Damn. See, people don't understand that the Lord is about to actually come and sweep them right on, uh, on their feet, man. Right. And they not watching. They not watching the prophecies. That's right. That's why their house is going to get broken in. That's, That's right. why destruction is going to smack them right in their face. That's why Esau is going to swoop you with these troops. Yep. That's why these foreign troops overseas is going to kill Y'all, you fucking Americans, man. Because hey, Joe Biden just said it. He said it's a pandemic because they're not getting the juice. Right. Well, I, was, I thought it was the opposite way around. Yes, <laughs> at first, it, yes. it would have been right. the, uh, the little, the, the, whatever bullshit you said that was going around. Now it's just a, it's a pandemic because not getting the juice. Right, it's a verse. They trying to set the people <laughs> against each other, bro. That's why the chaos is going to happen. Because it's going to be like, you got it. Oh, I'm fine. I'm good. I, I took one like uh, Bill Murr. He has a, a show on HBO. I think it's called the uh, the Bill Murr Show. He said he said he said he was talking about the boosters. He was like, listen, I took one for the team. He said I, I took I took the first one. I'm not taking the next one. Now you now you gotta take your boosters. Right. You know what I'm saying that's right. how, that's how the shit gonna go. Gotta boot it up. Right, gotta boot it up. <laughs> first you right. take. Huh? No, they, they they were saying because uh, <laughs> here it is. They they said that if you don't have the the vaccine, right? Uh, the Maxine, yeah. that you won't be able to to work in this society, right? You won't right. be able to function, right? 
So now they're talking about the booster. So even if you do have it, you'll be qualified as un as unvaccinated. Uh, 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 unjuice. So right. now you're unjuice. unjuice. So now, see, that's the thing about it, right? You get you get the first uh, juice. Then you gotta get the booster juice. And then it gets to a point where, oh, because you took both, now you gotta take this chip. You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna trickle down as a part of the image of the beast. Right. Okay? The, the, be, the image of the beast is starting to tell you, listen, you want to be a part of this society, you want to look like us and be like us, you got to do this. And those who, are, who, who, who deny this are going to be on the outside of it, all right, yeah. of their society. And we like being outsiders. We'll do that. We don't mind that. We're not supposed to be linked up with you anyway. The scripture tell you don't not be unevenly yoked with unbelievers. That's right. You don't believe us, so what? We don't care, man. We loners. Yeah. The, the, the Lord is only coming back for a remnant anyway. So the majority are going to uh, screw off and, and go crazy anyway with all this madness. But the, the remnant are not going to care. Go ahead. I, I, uh, I'll go Beggar, what you said. You know, we're going to be occupying prophecy and we're going to see, you know, we'll, we'll know. That's how we'll know. It's Proverbs 22 and 3 says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. Hey, these simple, hey, hey, that's how, how long ye simple ones would love simplicity. Huh? Hey, these people are simple. They think they, it's just going to go back to quote unquote normal. And shit was normal, man. And hey, what, what, things will go back to normal when we're in the kingdom. Exactly, man, because it's not yeah. normal. It's not normal. I got to walk outside and see a bunch of women it's down there half naked shit. walking around. And one of them might and, not be and, a and, woman. And, exactly. That's one not of them normal. might not be a woman. Or oh, they got tight ass normal. pants on. <laughs> tight ass <laughs> pants. I can't help the look. They might have a man with them. They can't help the look. It's because it's hard not to look because the ass, the ass is super fat. You know, oh, but no, it's the truth. That's the temptation. That's the temptation. That's the truth, man. That's true. Like you, you just shouldn't have to walk around in, right. in this world with that you going on. Trust in the mind of There you go. I was just gonna go there, bro. That's a reason why there is a certain structure and a certain pattern of a dress code. A man should not wear a woman's apparel for a reason. All right, a man, a woman should should should, should dress in modest apparel, modesty. All right, that her behavior is supposed to match her dress code. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. How you? How the hell? Hey, man. That's why I love oh, the one of Dave Chappelle's one of the best skits. Uh -huh. No, man. Nah, nah, he uh, basically was saying like, you know, he said the women in the society are so confused. He said, if I go outside dressed as a police officer, and and you and, and a crime is being committed against you, and you run up to me and say, Mr. Officer, I need some help, and I look at you and say, Hey, just because I'm dressed like this doesn't mean I'm an officer. <laughs> You know what I mean? So if you're gonna wear a whore outfit and you get treated like a whore, how the hell are you gonna get mad at the guy who try to trick off? If a guy walks up to you and say, how much? Oh, how dare you? Well, bitch, your titties is out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'ma tell you, these days, uh, I'ma tell you, these days, uh, you walk up to a bitch and say that today, she might give you a price. Shit, right. of course. They're wait, gonna wait. give you a price. Oh, yeah, because, 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 because of the shit, what's yes. happening? <laughs> because being a whore is celebrated in Babylon. They have an annual well, celebration called Slut Walk that was made by Amber Rose. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, it's just not that, but shit, society is too. Like, I'm going to tell you, like, a lot of these hoes out here hurting. Like, you walk up to a lot. See, that's why you simple-ass niggas, you simps, man, y'all fuck the game up so much. Like, you don't have to simp over a bitch. You don't have to do certain things, man. You ain't got to tell a bitch this and that. All you got to do is just wait, be patient. And, get, and that bitch will come to you, man. But a lot of you niggas go out to your wits, man. That's what the second actress, I mean, first actress go say. They told him and Pro go fight a lion just to bring it home to their lover, man. And that's why a lot of these women so prideful these days, man. They feel like they got options and this and that. And to be honest, they have no options, man. The ones that come up to them, give them everything they want. So when they do get a man, why, why would she settle down for him? When this nigga, or that nigga, uh, uh, this nigga giving her everything, man. Exactly. Well, you know, one thing I used to deal with, the Lord ended up giving her cancer. This is, I, I told you about it. She the one with the uh, 357K, almost a, almost a half a million uh, followers on Instagram. She ended up getting cancer. She got cancer now. She's only 26. 26 years old, 25. And... The Lord jacking her up. I told her, I'm like, you know why the Lord jack you up, right? She got, she's still trying to twist it around. I'm like, look, it's because how you still acting. You still all parading your body on Instagram. You still doing this. You're not listening to a real man. When a real man right here, I'm right here in your face. Hey, 
The Lord gonna put in the hand right here. He giving you a hand. He trying to help you. You don't want it. I you smack you. Go back. You front. smack the fucking hand, man. You know, and, and you still you you still living your your luxury vain life. And guess what's gonna end up happening? You gonna die in that lifestyle because that's the lifestyle you want. Back in Proverbs one, Proverbs one and twenty two. I'm gonna start at twenty two again. It says, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in the scorning and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you." I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set enough all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they seek upon me. Yeah, so like, then shall they call upon me, but I would not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. <laughs> hey, they said that even God, God's going to laugh at your calamity. Calamity means suffering. Yes, God's going to laugh at you because the Lord has given you a chance to repent, all right, to turn away from your sin, all right, to make good. On, on, on the Lord's sacrifice that he gave his only begotten son for you. And we're talking to you Israelites. And you Israelites only. Anybody, nobody else can repent. The law sets commandments when I'm for you. only for Israelites. So since you slapped the hand away of mercy, the Lord's going to slap you with the other hand. That's how it goes. Here's the Lord trying to help you up. And here you go. Nah. And here's the Lord with the other hand. Bah! Because you chose not to accept his help. So now you're on your own. You may flesh, flesh your arm, right? You chose to lean on, on, on your own your own knowledge and wisdom, which is which is which is basically foolishness and vain. So guess what? The Lord's gonna laugh at you when that time comes when you start to suffer. And then when it comes, then you're gonna be like, listen, I need you. And then the Lord's gonna be like, well, I don't hear you. Let the scripture tell you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I not have not known you. The scriptures tell you, I don't hear the, the prayers of, of, of lawbreakers. I think it's in Proverbs also. It's yeah, about, uh, I hear it. He'll turn his ear away from those who don't the law. prayers are abomination. Yeah, your prayers are abomination. Because it's too late now. Because you actually see the things that were told to you by the prophets. So when you start to see them, all right, you start to say, oh, well, oh I, I'll get ready now. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying somebody coming to pick you up, right? Hey, bro, I'll be there in uh, three hours. You got plenty of time to get ready. You got plenty of time to take a shower, get your outfit ready, get your cologne and everything going, we're going out, boom, all right, back. Three hours later, he had the dope. This nigga in his pajamas. Yes. Yeah. Hey, bro, nah, bro, I was, man, I was fucking, uh, yeah, it, no, you, man, I'm leaving you now, bro. I gotta go. You late, go ahead. Okay. Proverbs 28 and nine, he that turns his away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So you turn your ear from the law, man, all right? You turn your ear from something that's gonna benefit you, man. All right? Because when you break the law, it doesn't benefit you. Because it makes you separate, more separate from, from, from Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. So the, so the, more, the more separate you are, the, the longer the distance. The harder, the harder to come back, man. Yeah. It's way worse now. Yeah. Hey, the scriptures tell you in Matthews when, when one demon leaves, and then seven, a he goes, seven, 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 that's more worse. Because now you done, you done left. The wickedness, and you have tasted of, of that 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 Ashley, heavenly. Ashley, get that man. Get, get that first right Peter. Now. Yeah. The second chapter. Because the, the nineteen verse. Because the word is considered living yeah. water. The Lord said, "Come to me, and you shall not thirst anymore." I think first. Peter. The scriptures that are, are also a representation of bread and honey. That's a whole meal. So 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 when you so when you so when you get rid of all that wickedness, all right, you you eating good over here. But then when you turn away from that goodness, you return back to your vomit. You know how you eating vomit. The scriptures talk about a man that, that, that turns away uh, from his word and goes back to his vomit. Hey, man, he's not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Second Peter. I got a quick one. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus right. saith the Lord, Yahweh, stand ye in the way and okay. see okay. and ask for the old paths mm -hmm. where is the good way and walk therein. 
and ye shall find rest for your soul. But they said, we will not walk therein. Look for the wicked niggas, because the old path, you gonna find rest. Cause this is not our rest. We not in our rest. This is completely out of order. But like he said, man, you eating vomit. You niggas eating vomit right now. You wanna keep eating throw up? So that's disgusting, man. That's why the oh. scriptures uh, had, had made that an example. You're trying back to your vomit, it's like a dog. Yep. You know, you're like a dog eating his own vomit, man. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you're, you know, you're like a dog to the Lord. Now the scriptures even talk about a woman. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Hey man, like, hey man, hey, these, like these people really don't know what's best for them and they don't want what's best for them. Uh -huh. So they're gonna get what's worse. Uh -huh. You're gonna get what you ask for, man. Exactly. All right, you, you know, like I said, the Lord is extending his hand of mercy and you knock it away and the Lord is gonna counter with the other hand, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord is a man of war. Listen, man, hey, we can give you mercy or we can just whoop your ass. It's either way, that's just the way the Lord is. The Lord said, if you're not with me, you're against me. If you're not with the Lord, you're against him. So you're just like the uncircumcised. And you're gonna die the death of the uncircumcised if you don't repent. That's right. Right, and when the Lord comes out and sends his message, now he would want you to repent, but if you don't, you don't you don't move the Lord. You, it does, the Lord doesn't he doesn't care. It's not like yeah. people act like the Lord wants you and I need you. Nah, look, <laughs> this is really more of a warning to you. Look, if, if if do this and you'll be okay. Don't do this, then you're gonna get fucked up. Right? Exactly. <laughs> like that's the problem. People no people really think that the uh the Lord need need them. People really think that the Lord need the people. No, he don't. The Lord said he made a whole nation out of rocks. Yeah. Fuck you mean. He don't need you niggas. He just love you. That's really, you better be happy he love you. Yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> man, we'll be fucked up, man. That's the point. But y'all don't get that. Y'all so hard-headed, man. The Lord about to start busting y'all head even more. That's why you keep seeing the... Um, the um the kidnapping rate going up. Men and women are getting kidnapped, man. Not just women, men too. That that rate went up, man. It's all over. You see, you be walking in stores, such and such is missing since three months. God damn, like they still haven't found this person. Or this such and such missing for six months. This person missing for a year. Like god damn, the rate is going up more and more, man. And it's not gonna stop. The Lord is busting you niggas' heads, man. He said he gonna uh, judgment should begin at the house of God. So where you think judgment beginning at? That so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And then 2 Peter 2 and 19 says, while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome of the same as he brought in bondage, for if they, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the, the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of the righteousness than after they have known, known it to turn from the holy commandments del delivered unto them. That's why scripture says that servant that knew my father's will and prepare not himself shall be beaten with many stripes. Right. All right, hey, 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 hey. So the Lord, hey, well, hey, uh, uh, well, much responsibility. Let me get it, matter of fact. I'm gonna quote it. This is Luke. Much is 14. Given, much is required. Yep. 12 and 40, 47. It says, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself Neither did according to his will shall be being with many stripes. That really proves you're really showing the Lord that you're worse than these niggas. You're proving that you 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 worse than these niggas out here. Why? Because but he that knew not these niggas out here, the two thirds, and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whom much soever, whomsoever much is given. Of him shall be much required, and to him men have committed much. Of him they shall they shall, will ask the more. And that's what it is, man. Hey, so we have a job to do. Hey, that's why hey, when uh, brother brought that the, uh, the one to take out the seven, that one clean uh, unclean spirit. 
that he sees the house garnished and swept, he said, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna bring out seven more uh, demons, man. And that's why, hey, a lot of Jake will fall out. Shit, they had a woman demon. You know, uh, they fall out. Now they have a whole fuck. Now they dress like a woman. <laughs> The, okay. the Lord will give you unto your desires, man. Unto your own days. She'll give you unto your own ruin, scripture says. Yeah, we uh, we, we knew a dude personally that was uh, I think he was in a North Carolina camp. Or he oh, yeah. was he was watching. He was, uh, he was oh, like, yeah. yeah, that dude, he uh he turned his back on uh, on the faith. And then, and then next thing you know, he started dating a whole tranny, bro. Yep. Yeah. And then defending it. When Jake was getting on him about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all just making it seem like it's weird, not weird. Oh. She's, 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 a, she's a complete woman now. You know what I mean? She, she, she's a woman now. Y'all making it weird. I'm like, what? This dude, he completely got, became a reprobate. The Lord gave him a reprobate mind. That's right. You know, the Lord will jack your ass up, man, if you don't repent. Like, real talk, you know? And he wasn't fully in it. Anyway, you know yeah, what I mean? He wasn't even fully in the truck. Because the Lord ain't gonna just jack you up just in case you, you know, if you you fully about the Lord's business. Because the Lord wouldn't do that to an employee like that or a servant. Hey, he was. Huh? Right. That's That's right. Right. That's there, there you go. So you're not gonna tell me that that, that you was all the way in it, man, because you wanted that, man. You had uh, dark, secret, uh, hidden desires about that type of shit that you couldn't battle and it overcame you, right? The Lord gave you over to your own lust, all right? To those uh, foul affections, all right? The Lord gave you over to that, all right? Because that's, that's just, that's where your brain was at. Your mind wasn't in the scriptures or on the spirit. You know, shit, your ass over here looking at um, man women. Fuck out of here, boy. You got, you got something? I'm not worried about their past. Right, I'm not even worried about their past and all that. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? All right, these niggas become reprobates, man. It ain't like you made a mistake sin against the yes. Lord and then you repenting and still dealing in the Lord. You got a brother that actually still dealing. He made a mistake. He confessed his sins, which he should have just kept it to himself. But he did it anyway. He did it out of the scriptures. He and, said, confess your faults among your brother. Yeah, he did that. And uh, he's still dealing to this day. He's still doing the work, man. Out there in the highways and the byways by himself. Call on your how about your mouth shot. Give a double honors to the elders. And the Lord might show mercy on that man, you know? That and, and he still presenting his body a living sacrifice. What's up with you niggas, man? Y'all can't do that? You know? That's cause most niggas don't have integrity, man. It, it's all boiled down to integrity, man. If you really want to do this for the Lord. Exactly. This is uh Romans 1 and 21. It's just because that when they knew Yahweh, they glorified him not as Yahweh, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like a corruptible man, and to birds, and to four-footed beasts, and to creeping things. This is the point. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, dishonoring their own bodies between themselves. Which that nigga, what that nigga was doing, at the end of the day, he wasn't fully in it. You know, he had a, a ulterior motives. And that's what uh, made him actually uh, sway out. You know, I mean, whatever reason made him- I started the job him, again. All yeah, right. Yeah, he, said, <laughs> yeah, he was talking about GMS say that, uh, you know, they don't want uh, their members to get jobs and shit. That was a whole order by, by Apostle Hart, man. What are you talking about? Right. And he was just, he was just trying to find any little thing to, to, to so so Jake could rebuke him so he could say oh look they, they got rid of me no yeah. man you wanted that 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 man butt that's right. all that is that's all yeah. it was just like a bitch man a bitch will use any excuse uh, when when a relationship ends to make you look like like right. the one that's guilty yeah right and she's it. the innocent one and all that that's the same spirit these niggas be having man and then all the idiots jumped on there the uh, Milwaukee basement rats jumped down. They wanted to say something, and then all, well, I ain't heard him in a while, but you know, the Avenger dude, you know what I mean? He started jumping down, cocking, yeah. cocking down, whatever. And he started jumping down and saying what he had to say, and then everybody that just hate GMS had to jump in. Y'all niggas was defending a guy that likes boy pussy. Congratulations, you a goofball. This is the nigga you was defending, cause all cause he went against GMS. Especially you Milwaukee basement rats. I can't stand y'all too. All y'all niggas talk about is look at my watch. 
my watch and my house and all this. Man, Alora is going to wipe that shit out and wipe you niggas out too, man. Exactly. Right? And, and, and going into what you was reading, you said uh, they profess themselves to be wise. Right. Because right now, that's that's the philosophy now. You got cancel culture, you got the LGBT, LGBTQ and ABC, whatever uh, part of the alphabet group. They profess themselves to be wise, all right? Women have their new philosophy now, all right? Uh, 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 one women out here talking about man, I deserve two men because I so I because I need two, two uh two incomes. You know what I mean? A uh, man ain't shit if he don't make a hundred thousand k a year. You know what I mean? Like it's it's crazy. Even that that dude uh Kevin Samuel showing you how fucked up the the, the women are mentally. Like it's yeah. just, like damn. Like I can't. Like it's almost embarrassing. It's like secondhand embarrassment when you listen to these chicks. You be like, I can't believe she actually called in and said that. Like, if you really, like, you ever, like, 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 damn, that is, she really believed that shit. You know what I mean? Like, this is the way people believe and the way they are, man. Well, they was the crazy that. part is Kevin Sam, you uh, grew up in a house full of women. He was a feminine back then. He yeah, used to be yeah. soft. This soft. And, and but the, he grew out of that shit in college. He like, hold on, wait a second. And the crazy thing is, he, 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 was, he, he was like that in the 80s. In the 80s, it, and the feminine nigga was that nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, 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 you nigga, like, that nigga had Prince. Shit. All that Purple Rain that shit. That nigga had a lot of shit. I'm telling you, bro, if you really look back, you look back at uh, uh, the Gap Band with uh, Char uh, Charlie uh, uh, Charlie Wilson and all them, man. Mm -hmm. Dudes was really, you know. Real soft as fuck. Yeah. Wearing Speedos and running on in their own video and Speedos and shit. I'm like, what is he? I'm like, really? That's the first time i ever seen that. I think it's called, uh, the song's called Burn Rubber. And they burn rubber on me, Charlie. Yeah. One of my favorite Gap Band songs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I we, know, see, we know what you listen to when you're at home. Yeah, you're damn right. Gap Band is my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drop the bomb on me all of them. But it is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I see, it's the first time I saw the video. And I'm like, why is Charlie Wilson in a Speedo? <laughs> like, damn. Like, they was really, even that old photo of the, uh, the Osley Brothers. Uh, you had uh, Ronald Isley's brother, I forget his name, but this nigga had a crop top on, showing his belly and his tight ass bell bottom pants. I said, wow, Jake was really on that effeminine vibe then, man. Oh, the and and, and it, it's, it's just crazy, bro. <laughs> but that's just the way society accepts you, man. You, you know, one way, it's, it's different ways. Mm, like, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's just about the, the people. If you don't follow this, man, it, it, you, you leave people up to their own vein of imagination. Exactly. But uh, I think you got some more of that, though. Oh, you got more? That, that's yeah, amazing, though. He came out of that feminine shit, and now he cutting these women. Bro. Yeah, and they man, hate it. It ain't amazing, man. His ass gonna get destroyed. Nah, he, he gonna get destroyed on his wickedness. Man, fuck them women. <laughs> this is verse You're 25. Right Romans 1 and 25, it says, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. The black woman is black. Yeah. Right. Yep. And uh, shit, yourself too. Uh, uh, leaning upon your own understanding, that's like self worship. Right. So you're worshiping yourself, a creature, more than the actual creator, man. You know? It says, For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections. <laughs> For even their woman did change the na natural use into that which is against nature. Yeah, and, and 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 you go into what's celebrated. They celebrate that. We we in this society, our people especially, we celebrate everything wicked. Drake new album. What's one of his songs? He said, "My girl like girls, girls like girls," or something yeah. like that. He got a whole song celebrating that shit. And what do you see, bro? If you on if you on social media, you know it. Girls get together, it's hey, twerking the whole time. They touch it on each other the whole time. They fake kissing. They yeah. fake, oh, they no, fake they running. Fake they, I mean, but listen, no, 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 no. They are, bro, but I'm saying, like, it's the ones that like to play. Right. The ones that girls would be like, oh, we, we just play. Right, right, right. We just playing. Y'all take this shit too sick. Oh, Ari. G Herbo's baby mother, right? She 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 uh she with uh, another rapper called uh, Money Bag Yo. She in the club twerking on another man, and the guy she twerking on is a homo. Is her her hairstylist? 
So he's standing there like this. Friend. That's her best friend. Go best friend. Go bestie. Okay. Twerking on this grown man because he because he a homo. And so it's okay. And then money bag yo comes out and says, man, you niggas is just uh what you say? Uh 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 what you say? He said uh you niggas is just uh uh, man, what do you call it? insecure? He called niggas that ain't, ain't agree with that. Y'all insecure. I would love that. No, yo, bitch, you can't control your bitch. That's what it is. You can't control your woman. Because you know once you tell her no, she going to be gone. And you don't want her to go. And that's what right. that's all that is, bro. Ass, no. Yeah. Yeah. She, what's what happened? She called the police on yeah. that man. Right. She, oh, she took God. his chain. She holding a baby while the police locking his ass up. Bro, she used to <laughs> she used to swing on that nigga, bro. Yeah, like yeah, she she's on that queen. That's why he like, man, fuck that yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and money back, yo, he just as fucking weak as her. So they deserve each other, but that's just the way women are now, bro. Oh. These are the same niggas that be toting guns talking about how tough they are in these rap songs, man. Right, you know, but right? they can't check they chick though. Why? Because they'll leave. They'll leave. They strength unto a woman. Brother. Right, they, have, they get their strength unto a woman, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that, hey, shorty gonna leave, gonna leave you. She she just bought him some land or some shit. I mean, some land that's gonna get burnt up when them uh, ICBM uh, nuclear missiles come, bro. But look what Polo G, uh, Polo oh G. Oh my God. His fucking, um, his baby mama did. <laughs> his yeah. baby mama cheated on him with a gay nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, get that uh, uh, a spin abomination oh, to the Lord. I gotta, I gotta get this real quick. Bob this, this is uh, Second Peter's, uh, yeah, Second Peter three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful. Unholy. What do you see now? You see people who are lovers of themselves. How? All you see, all day. This is all day. You go out to eat. You go out. You can go bowling. You can be riding your bike. You can be walking down the street. What do you see all day? This is what you see. All day. You get down to eat. What do you see? This is your plate. Right. Oh. This is all day. Lovers of themselves. That cart right there. Yeah. The chick almost hit the van with the cart because she had no phone. A dude like the everybody, the everybody boasting and loving in themselves. All you hear is oh, oh, uh, hashtag bad bitch behavior. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we hot get into the summer. bag. Hot girl summer. We get into the bag. And it's all boasters. All boasting in themselves. Boasting and being prideful as hell. This is all you see here. And, and then on top of that, blasphemy. Blasphemy. They had a, they had a, uh, on the internet, they say anything on the internet. They said something like, hey man, y'all think Jesus was musty? I said, are you kidding me? Why would you even post that? What? Yes, the, the ridiculousness, bro. And then you had a whole lot, a bunch of blasphemers and everybody, yeah, that ain't, he ain't real anyway. Why y'all so mad? Oh, it's a fictional character. Why y'all so upset? And I'm like, the Lord is going to fucking flood these niggas with fire. Huh? You got more to that? Yeah, well, one more, one more verse. I've got you. Because that's ridiculous, man. Blasphemers, man. Bolsters. Prideful. It says, without uh, natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, uh, incompetent, fierce, uh, despisers of those that are good, man. This, this is rough. I mean, it writes itself. This is it can go on and on, but this Jake is just completely fucking through out here, bro. And and the prophets that are serving the Lord can't wait for the Lord to deal with them. See, the Lord said, "Wait ye upon me till I rise up to the prey." We gotta wait on the Lord. Only thing we doing is talking. We not saying anything. We we're we're just prophesying. That's it. The Lord's the one that's going to make this physical. We don't have to do nothing. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We just out here with Bible. We just here to tell you because they, we know that judgment is coming. We're trying to get, get, we're gonna be on the right side of judgment, not on the left. So we don't want the judgment that y'all are going to get because we read about we read about the way the people are. We don't want that judgment. But we are here to tell you because we see it. We see things through the Spirit. 
all this stuff that we see, we be like, man, I cannot wait for this to be over with. And it is coming down the pipe, coming real soon. Go ahead, This is Luke 16 and 15. And he said to them, Ye are they which justify yourself before men, but the most high knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the most high. And that's what it, well, whatever this world promotes, the Lord ain't dealing with, man. And, it, 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 and everything, because they promote what? Adultery, you know, a, a uh, covetousness, leading on to your own understanding. It, it promotes a fear of everything else besides the Lord. Everything that this place promotes, bestiality, to have a same-sex marriage. Yeah, dude, this guy it, caught fucking a horse. Yeah, he went to jail for that oh, shit. I, th yeah, I didn't think that was real. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I think I posted that shit. <laughs> like, this dude really got caught fucking a horse, bro. Like, niggas, it's true, like, bro. Yeah, I think it's, in certain states, it's, it's legal for you to do that. It is. It, it, it's, it's legal for you to do that. Oh, and then, and they try to make a, they try to wiggle in a way for society to accept pedophilia. Yep. They try to, they try to uh, wiggle that in there now. You know what I'm saying? That's like the new thing now. That's what it has New Netflix shows, you know, new Netflix shows with the kids being the models and and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, chill, the chill, crazy chill. part, I told a woman that years ago. I'm talking about at least seven years, about six, seven years ago. I told her, I like, they gonna start pushing pedophilia in the world. She got mad at me and stopped talking to me, and now it's happening. <laughs> yep. No, she's like, why would you say that? Why would you say, do you want? I'm like, no. I'm saying that's against the Lord. I'm like, but that's what they're going to push. This is how evil this world is. She was so mad at me. I bet you now she's going to accept it. It's okay now. It's white man saying it. it's okay. You know? But you told her. So, pretty sure you told her other shit too. She didn't believe. Nice. She's going to see all that shit when it, when it unfolds. <laughs> Because it goes back to uh, what it says in Sirach, the 10th chapter. That as the ruler is, so, and so are the people. And yeah. when you read Genesis, the third chapter, it says that what? That, that Esau, which, which is uh, Cain, the so-called white man, is going to live what? Upon his belly. Living upon your belly is living upon your lust. You go after what your, your flesh desires. That's why uh, right here, like... Uh, Like, a, like uh, that one rapper, Moral Technique, said, man, in America, you have a market for everything. A market for chocolate-covered roaches, a market for this, a market for that. And all your heart's desires can be fulfilled here in America, man. Chocolate you know? anuses. All everything, bro. It don't even matter. Everything. everything. Uh, because I was uh, watching a flock here real quick. I was watching a video about a guy that was breaking down how society is. He said, everybody in this society are many kings. We're all many kings. Well, you can you can sit in your living room and just turn on the AC because it's too hot. You can just you can have it you can have it down there 65 degrees in this little area. And I mean, if uh, can a king can a king in the past have done that? He's too hot. No, he had to have service for people with them big ass damn uh, leaves and shit and just to get a nice little breeze. But you couldn't do that at an instance. You can get that. He said also uh, you could go down the street get a uh, 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 ice cream cone easy. No problem. Can a king in the past do that? No, you couldn't. There's certain things that kings that ruled for 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 hundreds of years they couldn't even have access to when he got it at an instant. Then this is the softest society ever. And, and everything's at a, a click of a button. It's a microwave society. That's why nobody wants to work for anything. Nobody wants to uh, to have patience. Everything is just so right. here. Like what generation? I want yeah. it now. Yeah, I want Give it now. Give me my money. I, I want, want it work now. Down. I want to work for it. He said, if you want to travel from Texas to Louisiana, hell, you can get there in one day. But back in the days, horse and carriage. It'll take you damn near, what, five days or so just to get there. You know what I mean? It's just now we're everybody's mini kings now. So everybody feels like they got an opinion now. Opinion about anything. Everybody feels like they're a little ruler now. And everybody's got an opinion. That's why Catholic culture is so crazy right now. It's protests all over the place. You know what I mean? That's what the rulers have given y'all, man. Y'all got so comfortable here that y'all don't even want heaven. There's no 
order. I can make my own heaven here. Yeah, I, I can't picture heaven being better than this. Oh my God, you're right, bro. Shit, I can. Man, see, that's that's the <laughs> wickedness of the people, bro. I can't picture heaven being right. better than this. How? Blasphemers. Really? What I just read? Blasphemy. Go ahead, huh? <laughs> Hey, this is hey. At the end of the day, all that the reason why we're telling you these things is because all that comes to death, destruction. You know, this is uh First John two and fifteen. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." And that's why we know that if you're part of the world or any any ways of the world that are contrary to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Shai, that you really don't love the Lord, man. This is uh sixteen for all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Like the brother was saying, the pride of life, everybody, a lot of people are here are uh, self-centered. They only care about themselves. They don't care about anything else that goes on around the world, man. That, that's the pride of life, you know? Taking pictures of their food, what they're eating, who they're fucking, where they live, what they're driving, you know? The Lord don't deal with none of that. The Lord says what? He, he uh delights in a contrite spirit. Somebody that's humble, somebody that doesn't need to boast. Right. You know? That gives all the glory to Yahweh Bashimi Shai. Even if it's something that they did with their own hands. Because at the end of the day, they got the will and the power of from Yahweh Bashimi Shai. It says, uh, and the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. That's what we, we preach to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you speckled birds out there that might look like the other nations. But yet your spirit resonates uh, 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 back to these scriptures. That's what we tell you to do to do this, man. Because at the end of the day, this is what's going to last forever. Everything else is going to get destroyed. Every other way of life is going to come to naught. You know? Yeah, I got more. I want to go back to that because it goes right there with, with what he said, bro. I got to go right back to that that uh, Second Timothy, man, to finish that. This is back at Second Timothy 3 and uh, and 4. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. See, the brother, like the brother, what you say Drake said? He said, oh, oh, I, I can't, can't imagine pick. heaven being better than this. Right. Hey, man, hey, hey man. Girl, it's, it's crazy. Yo, he nigga, this same nigga that came out with YOLO. Uh, you only live once. Right. So basically, that's like a, hey man, if you only live once, man, live it up, do what you can, experience everything that you possibly can, hey, and, and live it up, man. Hey, just like even that nigga Diddy, man. Like, cause right now, they got this uh, thing where, you know, Diddy claims that he loves the Bible, he loves the Lord. But then he comes out, and what does he say? He says, God is a woman. Where's that in the Bible? This man dresses himself up and and says, man, God, this God gave me this, God, this, and man, God bless me, God, this and this and that. Claims that he, he, he's into the Bible. Then he calls God a woman. Where, where is the scripture on that? The scriptures tell you that the Lord is a man of war. It's not his father. It. His name Father. When you say that, Lord, prayer. Right. Our, thou Father, we will hold our in heaven. Like, right. like it, come on, our Father. Like, <laughs> Boasters. What the they fuck bring in that confusion, you, bro. bro. Confusion. Kanye West. Kanye too. Uh, Kanye is just a wicked ass nigga too, man. But he got a he got a damn near half nigga yeah, album. Half, half, half nigga, half gospel album. No, you know what I'm saying? How? Oh he love oh he divorced her. This is a nigga. Oh, she yeah, bro. Him. Like what is, like it's just it's, like listen, they love this she world and back. what this world can back. give you oh, God. than what the Lord can give you. Why? Because the Lord got you on a waiting list for what he got for you. You gotta wait for that. The scriptures tell you to to uh to labor into that rest. The rest is the kingdom of heaven. So you gotta actually work for that. We not even like really experiencing anything that's that's gonna be in the kingdom of heaven, really. Now, I mean we just living day to day and doing the best we can to stay on the right path. But we not looking at streets of gold and you know what I mean, looking at the mansions that the Lord, we don't get to see that until it happens. Like we don't get like a hey Lord, give me a preview, like a trailer. Like we don't get a trailer to watch before this actually happens. Like we don't get to see like, okay, that's Ah, yeah, th that is worth what I'm doing. Yeah, hell yeah. Let me see. Hey, rewind that shit. Let me see that magic again. Damn. <laughs> Diamond windows and shit. Like, damn, nigga. Like, yeah, bro, let's go. Let's go teach now. Looking at. We don't get that. We just believe in what we know. 
That's all it is. And we operate off of hope and belief. That's it. That's, that's all we need. All we can imagine. We can imagine. You know, that's it. The scripture says, you know, it, it's written. All these but things. you just can imagine the uh, the um, the kingdom form with milk and honey. You, you gotta imagine that in your mind. Like you saying, like you just saying, that you don't get a video clip, man. Right. Uh, verse five in uh, 2 Timothy three and five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. So they got a form. These people out here have a form of godliness, right? Oh man, I just saw a pastor say that uh, you can take the uh, the mark if you want the mark of the beast. He said, take the mark of the beast if you want to take the mark of the beast. I'm like, how are you going to tell your congregation who have Bibles in their hands to take the mark of the beast? When the scripture tell you that if you take the mark of the beast, that's no, you can't repent from that. You're going to get destroyed if you take that mark. But he said, God don't want you out here jobless. And he don't want you out here broke. So he, and he said, the scriptures tell you to obey the lands of the law. Or the, the law of the land. That was the spirit, because we just saying that. Yeah, so they, they, they say, they say that, say, bro. They don't even know what they justify mean, this, bro. 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 They're going to justify the chip. They're going to justify this juice God. and everything. They're going to try to twist scripture and tell people, listen, take that chip, take that take that juice. The Lord don't want you out here struggling. See, it's all about prosperity and money. And that's what it's all about. It's all about money with these people, man. It's really about control, huh? Can, Money is control. Yeah, You're control. right. You said you said it right. Control. All oh, money is control. Cause when they can't get their money, they can't control the people. How you think Clefo Dollar and, and Joel Osteen? Remember that flood came? He, he was not gonna open up the church for you, nigga. Yeah. But guess what? They got on his ass about it. He did but, unwillingly. Uh, unwillingly. Yeah. Though. Was, he mad as hell. <laughs> it was vile affections that put him on blast. <laughs> Bro, he had to put, he had to open up that church for the people, bro. But that's all about that bread. He said, "Man, these motherfuckers gonna leave me if I don't open up this church." Uh -huh. Not because he, and, 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 and motherfuckers dying out here getting eating my alligators and shit. He ain't like, man, fuck y'all. But now nah, he's like, damn, he ain't gonna leave. My congregation gonna leave. That means the money gonna leave. <sighs> Out of the kindness of my heart, I open up my church. Looking ass, man. He don't give a fuck. It's all about the money. And if you pay attention, he was still passing out the bat, the, the basket so they could give out oh money. Oh, my God. <laughs> during, during that shit. Bro. You can't make this up, bro. Yeah, you can't make this shit, up. bro. That's why they're going to be destroyed because they wicked, man. These niggas got to go, man. They are going to get y'all ass pre to them, right, bro? Oh, that's up. Well, you got something? I got one. Oh, shit. So 2 Peter 3 and 10 says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the wish of heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And uh, we see these, we see all this, this place is through. What man person are ye all to be? Hey, search ye the kingdom of heaven, and all, everything else will be added unto you, man. To hell with this place, man. Right, so repent now that while the doors are still open, the prophets are still here. We ain't going to be out here very long, man. It's time. This place is done. This uh, Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plan come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord, the Lord Yahweh, who judges her and the king of the earth who have committed fornication and lived literally with her and uh, shall bewail her and lamentate for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning Stand, standing out far off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city Babylon that mighty city for in one hour, thy judgment come. This place gonna be disintegrated in one fucking hour, man. That's right. Fuck this place this, and, and, and fuck Babylon, man. So with that, we're gonna give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Kadash. Devil honor to our apostles and elders and GMS and brothers that sincerely doing this work. Keep pushing and doing the work. Shalom, Barakatum, and above, above.